So today we're going to start off with a breathing block. Okay, so we're going to breathe in through our nose and then out through our mouth. And sit crisscross applesauce. <laughs> and so we breathe in and we breathe out. And we breathe in and we breathe out. And we can breathe in and out. Good job. Okay. Um, I'll pull them so they can see. Okay. So we're going to change it up a little today for yoga. And we're going to be having a little friend with us, and they're going to be stuffed animals. And so our stuffed animals are going to be what poses we choose for today. Okay. First one, please. So we've got a big bag. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, do you know this pose, Izzy? It's a little fish. You lay on your back. Okay. So we're going to go on our back. And then you stick your legs out. So. And then you try to arch your back. Up. Yeah, so you come up, up up a little bit more on your head. What? Okay. No sense. <laughs> so put onto your head. Oh, there you I'm go. Like this. this is such a weird pose. And then, <laughs> if you feel like it, you could reach your arms out um, and have your your fins. Woo! Okay, I'm a fish. Huh? Here. <laughs> If you don't want to do Izzy's pose, you can always do another pose that feels like a fish pose to you. All right, you ready for another one, Izzy? Yep. Oh, I like this one. This pose is weird. How about this guy? Birdie. Looks like a little blue jay. Maybe you guys have some birds outside your window today. We do, probably at the birds here. The squirrels aren't there. Blue Jay pose, what are you going to do? Well, we can be, okay, here we can go on our tippy toes, and we're going to flap our wings oh. on our side, flap, 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 you're birdie. Can you try standing on your tippy toes? On our tippy toes. I'm balancing? Ooh. You're birdie. Good job. Okay, good job. Ooh. All right, you ready for another one? Yep. Let's see. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Oh, does anybody know what this is? The dog is jumping and trying to steal them as I take them out of the bag today. This is a little seal, and its name is Tusk. Seal pose. So, at me, come back down onto our back. And we can be a little seal. I will go like this. I won't have to see it. Can you lean maybe and take a stretch in that pose? Okay. I'm going to be a seal. And then, like dusk. And then maybe do the other side. Other side. And lean. And back up. Good job. All right. <laughs> Look at this guy. What are we going to do for him? He's a pelican. So he has a nice big beak here. And when he swims over the ocean, he takes a big dive down and he scoops up the fish with his <laughs> bill and fills up his bill with fish so that he can eat them for his breakfast. Maybe you can do a pose where you... <laughs> <laughs> and the dog stole that one too. Okay, so maybe we'll do a pose where you can do a, a forward fold or something, Izzy. So we'll have our arms like this, and this is our beak, and we go whoosh, scoop and scoop up all of our fish. No, 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 no. And we go up and one scoop up all of our fish. No, no, no. Good job. What about standing with your feet wide, like 
out and then using two hands to scoop them up and then you oh. can eat them. Two different ways. See, you can use your imagination and come up with as many poses as you'd like. Oh, here's another fella. This is a lizard, I think, or you could call him like a chameleon that changes color with his environment. What could you do for a chameleon pose? Is he busy? Okay, we're gonna go down onto our hands and knees. I'm gonna like circle up our foot like our little tail. Ah. Right. So you wanna push into your hands, friends, to help you find your balance. And make sure your knees are underneath of your hips and your wrists are underneath of your shoulders. And then you're gonna yeah. use those strong tummy muscles to find your balance. Maybe you can try the other foot too, Izzy. Okay, I'm gonna go down that foot. Find your balance on all four again, and then try lifting that other foot up. Good job, friends. Good job. All right, let's see what else is in the bag. It's a dog, it's a little Dalmatian. A little Dalmatian puppy, there we go. You can do just downward dog, Izzy. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, she's on it today. I'm gonna get to go down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go up the downward dog. We're gonna roll up into upward duck. Or downward dog. <laughs> I'm so confused now. One or another. And then you can come back down. And you can lay down and rest. Yay, good job. You didn't bark like a dog or anything for us today. Ruff, ruff. How you howl at the moon and upward dog. Ooh. And you go ruff, ruff. And now Coco's confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else is in the big bag. I'm glad I have so many. Oh, I like this guy. It's an orangutan. <laughs> Can you see the puppy guys? She keeps jumping and wanting all the stuffy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna be second wide and we're gonna put our hands up. We're gonna be a monkey. Now maybe could you could try to touch your elbow to your knee. Can you do that? Oh, don't bend that. Leave that one up. There you go. And then try to do the other side. The other side. Do it one more time, both sides. One side. And the other side. Okay. Good job. Good job. You're great. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, it's a bumblebee. Can you see that? It's got, it's harder to see on this one, but he's got little wings to fly. And it makes a bumblebee. What do you think, Is? Um, do you remember bumblebee breath? So you mm -hmm. you can sit in hero pose on your knees. Okay, so we're gonna sit in hero pose. You can make your wings. Make your little wings. And then when you do bumblebee breath, you close your lips really gently. And then you kind of almost buzz as you breathe. Mmm, or hum. Mm. Good job. Does it make your lips tickle? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else is in our big bag here. Oh, this one's not as stuffy. This one's hard, but can you see what he is? It's a little frog. I think there's a stick to make him. Oh, yeah. And you. Down. No, I think it goes up. Make some croak. 
Frog pose, Mrs. E. Can okay. you do frog jumps today in your frog pose? So we're going to go down and we're going to go crouch, right? And we're going to go run it and we're going to jump up. And we're going to go rip it and jump it. And rip it. And rip it. I think some of my friends have, is that, Karina, is that an owl that you have? Can you show us up to the camera again what your animal was, Karina? Oh, Georgina has a penguin. Oh, and it is an owl. What else do we have? Emily, is it a mouse? Nice, okay. We'll try to do some of those. I wonder if I have any of those animals in my bag. You know what, I don't. Surprisingly, I don't have any of those animals in my bag. Izzy, can you do a penguin pose? Penguin pose. Maybe you could waddle like a penguin. And go like this, and go waddle, waddle, waddle. Georgina's penguin. What about backwards? Can you walk backwards too? What about an owl pose? You squat Ooh. and maybe do your wings. I don't need to go like this. I'll go wings and go ooh, ooh. There, for Karina's owl. Can you do an owl pose? Good job. Okay. What about a mouse? What can you do for a mouse? Um, oh, okay. We can go like this. And your hands and knees, we'll have the one leg out like a little mouse tail. Turn sideways so they can see a bit better, Izzy. And me a little mousey. And can you do the other mm -hmm. leg, Izzy? Yep. And this leg. At the end, I promise I'll turn your chat back on and you can tell us your animals' names. Good job. Okay. All right, ready for another one out of the bag? Yep. Let's see. Oh, let's do this guy. It's an elephant. He's got his little trunk. Maybe Ellie the elephant or Dumbo the elephant. Izzy, what can you do for elephant pose? All right, let's do an elephant pose. Okay, they're going to go on our all fours. We're going to take our little trunk. And your other hand? And this hand. Oh, okay. And then you can also do this one. But, oh, okay. And so you go and you be an elephant. And you go, wee, wee. And be like the gigantic body of the elephant. <laughs> and I'll do this like. Oh, I like it. Georgina's holding two hands together to make her elephant trunk. I like oh, that. Oh, that's cool. It's a good idea, too. Yeah. All right. Oh, how about this one? It's a teddy bear. Do you know how to do bear pose, Izzy? So I'll teach you. You go onto your fours like a table. But you want to go to the side so they can see this one. So you're going to push your hands down into your mat and you're going to have your knees under your hips. You're going to roll your toes under like Izzy here. Whoop. And then you're going to just try to lift your knees up just an inch or two off the ground. You're going to try to lift. Oh, so you got to use all your tummy muscles here and all your arm muscles and all your leg muscles and try to lift your knees just an inch or two off the ground and then lower them back down again. How about one more time, Izzy? Can you bear pose one more time? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Let's count to five. Lift those knees. And one, two, three, four, five. Put those knees back down again. Good job. All right, what haven't we done? Oh, I have two of these in my bag. <laughs> butterflies. How do you want to do butterfly pose today, Izzy?
All right, this one's a little hard to see because he's so tiny, but it, it's a unicorn. He's got a little pink unicorn horn on the top of his head. What about chair pose for unicorn, Izzy? Now we go like this and then do a horn. There, pretending like you're sitting in a chair, but don't forget your unicorn horn. Good job. And other hand. Good job. Oh, here's one we haven't done yet. I think this one's a bunny. What can you do for bunny pose? Bunnies like to jump. Um, okay, why don't we go, I'm going to do like the same as frog pose. How about we go down and we'll put our little arms down like this. And we go jump. Oh. And then jump. Oh, Karina, you got your elephant too. Jump. And that for Betty. I like it. I like it. What is this guy, Izzy? It's a tiger. Is it a tiger, but it's a black and white tiger? Yeah, there's orange and ti orange tigers. It's in wet black and white tigers? Yeah. Yeah. Can you do lion pose for your tiger? Okay. We're going to go on all four. Okay, we're going to breathe in. Go. And breathe in. And let it all out. What about a roar this time? Come on. Okay. Roar. <laughs> I don't know if that was a very good roar. What do you think? Georgina, was it a good roar? <laughs> I think we should make Izzy roar one more time. Okay. <laughs> roar. That one. Is it better? <laughs> it was better. It was better. <laughs> okay, you ready for the last animal I found in the bag? This one's a finger puppet. Who knows what that is? It's a giraffe. It's a giraffe. Giraffes have really long necks. I wonder what you could do for a giraffe pose to get nice and tall. I don't know. It does though. Okay, giraffe pose. Okay, I got one. I'm gonna tilt the screen up. Yeah, tilt it up. All right, there you go. We're gonna take our big arms and we're going num num. Num 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 num. Could you maybe eye in a warrior three leg there, Izzy? Nope, that's two. Warrior three is like an airplane. Oh. <laughs> no, like an airplane, one leg back. Oh. <laughs> 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 Good job. Is that it? I think that's it. We have another fish, which we've done a fish. Oh, why don't you do um, shark pose? I know this isn't a shark, it's just a fish. Oh, is it? Okay, so we're going to go back, and this is going to be a little fin here, and we go flat, flat. And we have our other arms and flap, 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 flap. And she goes side by side. Doo, 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 doo. You could do shark too and extend your legs out. Can you try stretching your legs out, Izzy? And making so they're nice and long and close together. And you try to lift them up. And then if you stretch your arms back, you can make a shark fin. And then maybe you could make shark teeth. Can you chomp like a shark? This is a fish and a shark. I know, but I thought we could do a shark pose. That's it. We've got another frog and we've got several more bears. <laughs> Actually, this kind of looks like a wolf. Upward dog is a good wolf pose. Does it look like a wolf? Yeah, that's a wolf. I think maybe it is. What do you got for wolf? Do you want to do upward dog again for wolf and howl at the moon? Yeah. Be a wolf. 
right, we're gonna go. Oh, oh, good job. All right, are you ready for a yoga rest at the end? All right. Okay, we're going to take the breathing ball. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. I like what Emily's doing, and she's using her hands. Or is that Georgina? I think that's Emily. Is it Emily? Emily. Yeah, okay, and you're breathing in and out, even when you don't have a breathing ball. So that's really cool. Why don't you do that too with me? Okay, so go and then out. And breathe in, and breathe out. And then maybe try to close your eyes as you're doing your breathing, and keep breathing in and out. And as you close your eyes, maybe you can imagine a special spirit animal for yourself today. Maybe it's something that you think about all the time. Maybe it's your favorite stuffy animal. Uh, but maybe it's just a special animal that will give you special powers today. So maybe if you chose a bird, maybe you can imagine flying today. Maybe if you chose an iguana, maybe you're gonna blend in with your surroundings today. Or maybe if you chose a fish, maybe you're gonna go for a swim today. So imagine that magical creature, whatever it is, your special spirit animal for today. Take a few more breaths. Good job. Okay, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. Okay, and then when I say namaste, we're gonna bring them down. Ready? Three, two, one. Namaste. Namaste.